Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. It travels. Nice. Right, that's taking us up to level 19. Uh, be a little bit before we get to level 20, but it's, it's not going to be too long, I don't think. Oh, there he is, it's the dude up on the top of the hill up there. Foreman Stonebrow. Mine is Lee. What's on your mind? Well, that makes me feel a little better, but I won't be happy until all are dead. All of them. Off with you. He's definitely got some issues, isn't he? Like, he, he he's got some stuff that he needs to work through. Per personal great problems. to meet you. You've been a great help in securing the mines and rescuing the trapped miners. The Senate will be heartened to hear that you and Captain Tharn's mountaineers have made progress in securing Dunmora. What worries me is that I haven't seen any reports from Sergeant Varum and his detachment. They were sent east, along the road toward Helm's Bed Lake and ordered to set up a small outpost. Would you go to Barham's post and check in on the sergeant? Watch your back. I'll see what I can do, Senator. I will see what I can do to help you out here. Um, Dwarven society does seem to be based on ancient Greece, doesn't it? The whole Senate, and then like, the, the pillars and the architecture and everything. It, does, it, it feels to me kind of reminiscent of ancient Greece. Not quite, but there definitely seems to be some influence there. Look, great big pussycat over there, the snow leopard. I kind of want the snow leopard rather than the boar, to be honest. I'm getting fed up with having a pig as my companion. I'm sort of thinking that maybe we go with that one. So i I got to get rid of that boar, though. To be able to do it, I'd have to get rid of the boar. What? Can we do that? Where is the nearest stable keeper? Is there one at Amber still? There's snowshoe rabbits that we can get there. Anvil, that's Anvil, Mark. Karanos there. Ah, uh, there's the st stable master right there. But I don't have another stable master. Alright, we'll see about getting a giant putty tat a bit later on. Um. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to just go with standard pets all the way through. I'm, I'm definitely not. We're, we're, we're going to like change our pets up a bit, especially as we can have two. Um, one thing that I'm particularly keen on getting is changing the bear, not having the bear, as my um, tank pet. I would like to have a crocolis as my tank pet. Now, I don't think they do quite as much damage, but I just like the idea of a pet crocodile being the one that comes along and does like all the the damage for me i just i just i forgot to skin it didn't i how many times have i done that now have i actually been doing that as we go along have i been like forgetting to skin these creatures as i go along i'm really hoping that i haven't because if i have that's, that's that's kind of embarrassing really isn't it there's there's the boar i need a target right yeah see i do that and I, then i gotta remember to skin them Got to actually remember to skin them as I go through. What's the bedding that we've got, uh, um, that we're told that we have to come along and kill these things in a minute? That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. We actually have a quest to go and kill a few of these. Okay, there's, there's probably enough. We can run down through now and we can go and speak to these guys. We need to turn in. There, they've got a nice fire going. That's good. What's on your mind? It's a good thing the senator didn't come out here on his own. He's dangerous, and we're going to need all the help we can get. We we can get to get the situation under control. Safe travels. Great to meet you. Kurgan tells me the cataclysm upset the balance of the elements all over the world. Helm's Bed Lake to the south used to be beautiful and tranquil, but now it's overrun with agitated water elementals. When they started to leave the confines of the lake, I sent my troops in to keep them busy, but most have been frozen into blocks of ice. If we can break them free, they have a good chance of recovering. I cannot spare the men for a second expedition out onto the lake. Would you be willing to try? Keep your feet on the ground. Oh, get me best shot, mate. Oh, get me best shot. Well met. Kurgan Singefeather. That's actually a pretty cool name. Okay, he's got to be one of the Wildhammer clan. He is definitely one of the Wildhammers. Look at him. That's, yeah, there's a wildness about him. The elements are in turmoil, Hunter. The Excuse me. The, the cataclysm stirred up the long dormant water spirits of Helm's Bed Lake just to the south. They're angry, confused, and unwilling to hear my pleas. I've tried everything I know to, ca uh, know to calm them, to persuade them to stop lashing out and attacking the sergeant's mountaineers. Pains me to say this, but no other options remain. 
we must kill the elementals. See you soon. Right, well, that's not so good then, is it? Wait. Oh, I was going to say, there was a dude over there. It's this dude, General Goods. You got my attention. Let's do a bit of repair work here, shall we? So, uh, I want to... The round rescue vest, we can sell that one. Well-worn trader... Tra wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Save wait a minute. travels! Let's, let's, let's just go into here first. And Museum Guard's War Boots. We definitely want those. There we go. Now we're looking a bit snazzy. And we've got Stone Hallows Pressed Cuffs as well. It gives us some more agility and stamina. That should increase our damage a little bit. Then we don't want the well-worn Raider Treads. They're, they're no good to us. The Frost Main Chain Links. Uh, we get a little bit of... Uh, yeah, but we, do, we, we didn't want to do that because we don't like the upgrade appearance, do we? Uh, Gnarled Short Staff, that's no good. And we've got grips right here. We lose two armor if we change those over. Okay, so Great we don't want to do any more of that. That means we can sell that one, we can sell that one, and we can sell these here as well. All, all of those white items, we'll, we'll sell the whole See lot. you soon. Now then, back on... Oh, wait a minute. There was one other thing I wanted to do. That's a six-slot bag, the Coldridge Mountaineer's Pouch. I'm going to swap that one with the Prospector's Bag that we've got here. There we go. Look at that. Now, go to Bag Settings in here, and that stays on the same setting that we had previously. Ignore this bag during cleanup. That's all we want. So we're going... We don't want to restore that. We will... Deep fried candy bars. Can't do anything with those at the moment. We, we've got charred wolf meat here. Leftover boar meat. See, it's the thing. We, we've got these items, but we don't actually use them. The lesser healing potion might be useful. But again, so far, we haven't actually needed to do any healing. Like, we, we've not really had any problem with it. So I've just got to free the mountaineers like this. That's all we got to do. Right. Well, let's go and take several of these. Because, to be honest, I haven't had any problem staying alive so far. Right? Staying alive has not been any kind of threat or problem or issue. So I will keep going with this. Tornado Fox has come online. Good afternoon, Tornado Fox. We will say good afternoon. Okay, we, we, we don't want to scream good afternoon. Yeah, we, we will do it like that. And back into Helm's bre uh, bread bed surges. So the icy tomb there. I'll take a couple of shots off of that one. And then I'll take a couple of shots off of that one as well. And then I'll go to you and I will order my pets to go in and attack that one. While I attack that one over there. I will loot this one right here, and then I will go over and I will loot this one right here. So we've got, I need one more Surger, and then I've got to get three more Icy Tombs. So the Icy Tombs, I don't have a target. fairly quick and easy to be honest. Um, the Surgers we can do, they, they don't take much to take down. It's the, there's, there's another Tomb. Stay away from the other guys. The, the tombs are pretty quick and easy, but they're, they're further apart. And we're likely to agitate one of these when we do it. So there's six of six there, and we've already got the other six of six. I'm in combat with someone. Oh, now I'm not in combat. Right. Let's ride our bike across the frozen lake and on the way out. In and around here, and there we go, Sergeant Baron. Hello! You've done it! The mountaineers are returning to camp and our medics will have their hands full. We're in your debt, Beldrast. Be good. Did... I'm oh, just looking to see if we had any hellos. And we can go to you, Kurgan. What can I do for you? It's never easy to countenance violence against the very elements whose powers I wield. But sometimes there is no other solution. Our duty to the people of Dunmora comes first. Safe travels. Oh, we're so close. We're so close to level 20. No. Cadre of Dark Iron Spies have taken over Iron Band's compound to the south, beyond Helm's Bed Lake. The Mountaineers are normally able to keep them from getting into Dunmora, but everything is in disarray right now. The Dark Iron Dwarves would be fools if they didn't take advantage of the chaos. They have to find out what they're planning and stop them before they do any damage. Will you see if you can discover what they're doing down at Iron Band's compound? 
Keep your feet on the ground. I will see if I can find out. But before I do that, I need to go to Iron Forge. I have something that I need to do up there. And before I go to Iron Forge, there is something else that I need to do. I just need to do a bit of skinning. Right there. Uh, skinning is increased level. I notice that you don't get a any XP for skinning. Too you do if away. you go and do some mining. Um, but if you just do skinning... Ah, uh, there we go. Level 20. That's the one that I was waiting for. Learn to ride. It's time for you to learn how to ride. Seek out Ultham at Ambersteel Ranch in Dunmorrow. Along the east... Uh, the road east out of Ironforge. Don't forget to buy your mount while you're there. Congrats, Chief. Now pick up the pace. Yep, I, I, I'll get right on that. Right, Bestial Wrath. We've got a PvP talent slot available as well. We're going to have a look at that one a second. You in here. War mode activates world PvP. I have no intention of doing that. Uh, let's just skin this one before we lose it. 20 down, 100 to go. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have we'll have it in no time. So my first PvP talent I can choose. We replace the honorable and removes all movement impairing effects. Uh, duration of incoming crowd control effects reduced by 20%. Does not stack. Uh, removes any loss of control effect with duration of 5 seconds or more. This effect can only occur once every 1 minute. Uh, I'll go with Relentless, I think. Not that it really matters. It's going to make much difference to anything, to be honest. Okay. Is there any way I can reset my talents? Yes, you can. You go to N with your talents up here. And then change talents in a rested XP. Okay. Ulrich over here has just reached level 114. And has four, uh, six levels to go. Which is slightly insane, considering that they didn't start that character all that long ago. That's more than just a little bit insane. Anyway, we, we, we're on our way to try and find Ultham Ironhorn. And then we will go from there. We want to head up to Iron Forge, And we can learn uh, Archaeology Skill. And we'll do a little bit of leather working as well, just to like push that one up. But we're, we're going to travel all the way back along here first. And we've got, we got to pick up, we've got to buy the, fly, we, the flying skill. We've got to buy the riding skill from him. And once we've actually purchased his riding skill, then we'll see. And I think we will change our pet out. Like, we, we've got this boar. I think that's something else that we will do as well. We'll change the pet. Um, I, I mean, I like having the pig. I think the pig is actually really cool. It's just that I want to change it up and, and just try a different one. The Snow Leopard, I think, is one that looks very cool. I like the look of the Snow Leopard. That does look like a really awesome pet. Um, another pet I'm considering is a spider. If when we move into the next zone, into Lock Moden, we could capture one of the spiders in there and have that as a pet. That could be our secondary one. I, I like the idea of having a giant pet running around with us. A, a giant spider pet running around with us. I think that would be quite cool. Uh, beyond that, I'm not really sure. I don't know what other animals we'd go for. We'll have to see. Right. What's on your mind? Don't forget to buy your mount while you're here. Veer and Armistil is standing just outside the gates to the ranch. See you soon. How are you? Right. Apprentice riding is three gold sixty. There we go. Now got apprentice riding ground. skills. So then when I click one of these... We've got all sorts of creatures. It kind of feels a bit wrong having that one. We need to, we need to find our racial mount. That's what we need to do. We've got to find our racial mount in a minute. And I think that's what we'll do. So we've got the adventure guide here. We've got suggested content for different zones that we can go to. Things like that. I'm not going to do that at the moment. And then we've got collections in here. You can view sets of stuff there. Um, yada, 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 but I don't want any of those. What I want in here is the rams. Okay. Amber scorpion. How are you? Why, why, why are you coming up with ram? I don't even know. I, 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 I just, I, yeah. Right. Cobalt riding talbuk. War talbuk. These aren't rams. 
These aren't rams at all. We got I got a brown ram. So we can go for a brown ram. We can go for a goat. Seriously? Maybe I can sources, drop quest, in game shop. Quest vendor. Alright, uncheck all and then go with vendor only and then go with here and go with ram. Like that. How many is it? It's still giving me a huge amount here. We've got a vicious war ram right there. Okay, that thing looks wickedly awesome. Vendor Necrolord Sipe in Stormwind, and that costs one something. I don't know what that's... That's a, um, a PvP character of some kind. Uh, but they're, they're not the ones... So we've got goats here that we get with the tillers. That's a panda thing. I, I don't want those. So we've got a white ram. Let's have a look through. I want to see all the different rams that I've got. The, the, the difference between the swift ones are actually the ones that you buy when you get um, the higher leveling. Or it used to be the ones that you would buy when you had the higher speed. Um, the higher skill up. But now you can choose. We could have a, a regular ram right there. Or we could go for the swift white ram over here. Which I think does look quite cool. I like the green glowing eyes on it. Uh, we've got the Violet Ram. What else have we got? What what other Rams have we got? We've got the Swift Violet Ram. I'm not concerned about the other... Any of the other mounts at the moment. We've got the grey one right there that's got the white eyes. The Swift Brown... Actually, I like the brown one. The purple and brown sort of combination does actually look quite cool. Uh, have I got any other Rams here? Got anything that looks like quite epic and cool? I have got the Iron Forge Ram. This is one that I earned up in Ice Crown for a hundred um, tokens. I can't remember what the tokens were, but uh, yeah, that, that is quite a cool looking one with with all of that. I actually really like that one. Might, we might go with the Iron Forge Ram as our standard mount that we will use for a while. Oh, and I've got a Black War Ram as well. The Black War Ram is, is is quite cool, but I think we will go... All right, I'm, I'm going to go with the Iron Forge Ram. I think that's the one that I want to have there. Um, I'm going to add that to my favourites list as well. The Storm Pike Battle Charger is another one. I've had that one on my favourites list for ages, so we have seen that one coming through occasionally as a PvP... Uh, reward one, but no, I, th I think we go with this one. This, this Iron Forge Ram, this this can be like our main mount for a little while. Um, just at least while we do our first 60 levels, I would have thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these around. I'm going to move that one up there and that one there, so that every time I press K, I just have my Iron Forge Ram, and we can say, look, we are 80 years old, and we have spent a lot of time doing, you know, we, we've been a hunter in the area for a very, very long time now. And so it kind of makes sense that we've earned something, you know, and, and we, we've helped that we've helped out before with different situations. So I, I feel that having a special ram like this, it, it was given to us, it was earned before we started off on our, our path now towards like helping the Alliance and stuff, um, and I don't think that it is out of the way that a character at such low level would still have quite a special ram like this. Considering that we are 85 years old and we've done a lot to help out um, Ironforge and the uh, just just the dwarves in this whole area in general, which would include the people at the ranch right there. So as we've already done a bit to go and help out the people at the ranch, they've now reward they've rewarded us previously with this decent ram, and, and they were looking after it because the ram wasn't very well. Um, it, it developed an illness, um, and so we brought it back to be nursed back to health. But now finally, we've got our ram back. And this is the one that we're going to be using. So we're just going to use this one. We'll switch over to uh, random mounts once we reach level 60 and we start doing some more flying and stuff. But anyway, How are you? right now, 
We're going to fly to Ironforge. We're going to learn archaeology. And we're going to do a little bit of our leather working as well. I didn't actually realize that that one there, we've got Bestial Wrath, sends you and your pet into a rage, increasing all damage you both deal by 25% for 15 seconds, and it's got a 15, uh, one and a half minute cooldown. So that is another cooldown item, which we will dump up there like that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Daryl over here, and we're going to see if we can do another um, quest, another cooking quest. We've got these dailies that we want to do. How are you? I keep him fed, kid. Yep, Dal Ricknesson at your service. Oh no, Beldrast, this is going to be a disaster. If we don't find some chicken soon, you just can't make cock a leaky soup without the chicken. It's not possible. If there's still time to make the soup, there's still time to make the soup and broth if you can find some fresh chicken. Can you help me? There are usually a few chickens running around outside the front entrance to the city. If you can get your hands on, say, six of them, I should save me soup. Watch your back. Okay, we will go and save Daryl's soup for him, as he's asked us nicely. Which means that we need to leap onto our ram. Um, okay, so Ulrich wants us to be riding around on a battle hog. Um, maybe we will switch to a battle hog later on. May maybe we will, I'm not sure. At the moment, you know, we're a dwarf, we, we, we ride a ram. Um, but he he's thinking mainly because we would want to eat. The, 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 the mount. That's, that seems harsh. Um, but yeah, we, we did have um, Battle Hog for our wedding. We, we, well, as, I suppose technically it's not Battle Hog that we had for our wedding, me and Sen. Um, what we had was uh, a, a, a hog roast. That, that was our wedding feast. A um, little bit different to normal wedding feasts. Normal wedding feasts are like these big sit-down affairs where everybody's wearing posh clothes. Uh, what are you doing to that poor chicken? It just got decimated by a bear, a boar, and a hunter. I feel kind of sorry for that. Um, but yeah, the um, at our wedding, we, we had a Robin Hood themed wedding. So everybody was dressed up in Robin Hood fancy dress stuff. And we had a... There's another chicken down. I feel sorry for these chickens. I really do. Right, we go over to... There, there, there's the Dunmorrow chicken. They're, they're slaughtering these poor chickens. I don't, I don't know if I should... I don't know if I should be encouraging this, to be honest. I feel kind of bad for the chickens. Um, and we had this huge, great big hog roast as our, as our wedding feast. It was epically brilliant. It was absolutely fantastic. It was having a big hog roast for our wedding feast. It was definitely something that I enjoyed. And I feel that more people should do it. I really do. I feel more people should have hog roasts for their wedding meals rather than the big sit-down affairs where everybody's all dressed up in uncomfortable clothing that nobody actually likes wearing. Let's be honest, who actually likes wearing the stuff that you've got to get dressed up in when you go to a wedding? I I, I, I definitely don't. Like, I, I'm not one for dressing up like that. Um, the the medieval dress that that was brilliant that was absolutely awesome it was comfortable it was it was loose light clothing it it was absolutely amazing right let's go in here and have we chat with him don't worry that they, they, they won't um befoul your floor um although you want to keep an eye on the boar over here you we ought to name these pets didn't we like he he's definitely a tarquin he is he is definitely a tarquin um. Or set focus cancel. How, how do you bear rename? Oh, I can rename him from here. Right. So what is what is our bear going to be? Could Billy Bear? I kind of want to call him Billy Bear because you can get Billy Bear sausage, which is delicious. It's absolutely delicious. That's why I want to call him. He, he, he's definitely Billy. He is definitely a Billy. Yes. I, I want to name that pet Billy. So then what I'm going to do is. You must dismiss your current pet. How do I just dismiss? And uh, there, dismiss. Right. Do it like that. And then I can summon my boar like this. So Billy, he is then summoned. So then I can go to boar over here and I can rename him. He feels like a... I was going to say Tarquin. Tarquin the boar. Um, I don't know if I want him to be Tarquin. You know what we will? We'll go with Tarquin for now. So he is, he is Tarquin right there. Yes, I do want to name him Tarquin. 
Tarquin and Billy. So now I can dismiss Tarquin. Like that. And then we will summon up the bear as our main pet. Right. We got Billy. Billy bear over here. And then we got Tarquin. Right. As I was saying, you need to keep half an eye on Tarquin because you've got food left out on the table. What's and on he your eats mind? like a pig. Uh, foul short. The chicken's bell draft. Do you have him or not? Hi, that's exactly what I needed. You have me, thanks, Beldrast. I mean, apologies for being so brusque earlier. I just kind of stand the thought of not getting a meal finished on time. Safe travels. Yeah, yeah that's all right. I understand. I understand where you're coming from. You know, it's, it, it, it could possibly be a bit frustrating not getting your meals finished. And next, we want to take a mosey on in this way. And we're going to go and learn the art of archaeology. Our cooking skill has increased to seven. That is it. That is it. We're not going to worry about really leveling up our cooking in here. That's not a, not a particularly important thing for us. Um, hi. Hi. Right. Apprentice Archaeology. Train. Uh, journeyman Archaeology. Requires level 20. What? Why am I able to level that up already? 75 and then up to 150. Expert Archaeology goes up to 225. And then Artisan Archaeology right there allows up to 300. We've got to be level 35 to get that one. Off with you. So we get the first three levels of this. So we've now got Archaeology skills. So if we go into here, we go to Professions like that. And we've got Archaeology here, which we will put up there and we will put survey up there like that I think is what we will do now S is backwards so that's that's no good to us um, I, was, I was just wondering what I should do what hotkey I could use because I got K for summoning up my mount I was just wondering what hotkey I could use for survey to make it a little bit quicker for surveying the way you do it with these is you go so if I click OK, you go into the game menu, you go to key bindings, and then multi-action bar down here, and this is what you've got. So we've got bottom left action button 2, which is that one, is my jump backwards, my disengage. I completely forgot that I'd actually assigned that one to something. And then I've got that button there, which is assigned to K. So it's not actually my summon random favorite mount, it's just I put that one on K normally, and this time we've got the RAM on there so we can move that round. So what I want to do is I want where survey is right there. So right action bar number two is this one. So we want right action bar number one, uh, which uh, right uh, bottom right, right action number two. Because that's uh, right action bar two. So we want right action bar. And we want button oop, uh, there, that one. I want that button right there. And our assist target function is now unbound. Assist target. Targeting. Target nearest enemy tab. Oh, assist target. Ah, assist target, attack target. I don't get what assist target is. I, I don't even know what that thing... I don't even know what assist target is. That's, that, you know what? That, that's absolutely fine. We will keep that, so then we've got F there as our survey key. Our survey says we will now use F to do that one. Okay, so we, we've done that much. Then we're going to go on a little bit. You, I don't want to go too... Ooh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Well, unfortunately, folks, the bear is getting a wee bit tired. And, well, I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well. So we're going to have a little bit of rest and recuperation, enjoy some meat and mead. And while we do that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.